everybody welcome back to a new video it's Gina here and if you're new to my channel I'm doing different art related videos and yeah I'm doing really illustrations portraits art challenges like this video and many other art related things so if you like this and if you like this drawing and want to see more then feel free feel free yeah <laughs> feel free to subscribe for more and yeah so this drawing, as you can see, it's a little mermaid, I'm doing it all in blue tones because this is something that Ikiyui started, if you don't know her already, she's a YouTube artist and also has uh, Instagram and I don't know where she is everywhere, but on YouTube and Instagram you can find her if you part in Ikiyui and yeah. So she made this video where she did draw a mermaid, a monochrome mermaid and she started with blue. And because she was like, if you do this, please tag me and such and feel free to make it too. I was just like really, you know girl, you wanted to do this for quite a while now. Like I really wanted to make uh, a monochrome watercolor drawing and you know what better way is than to get inspired by another artist and just try it. And so this little mermaid came and I just really happy how she turned out to be honest. I still need to break this a bit of anatomy like a lot and still I, I like it because she has this interesting body and she's kind of sassy in kind of way and I, I like her, I like her, I will be honest. Like, I still need to practice with watercolors too, but you know, I think monochrome drawings are really great way to practice with colors because you really have to think about your lightest lights and your darkest dark. Uh, it, it sounds crazy, but it is really like that. You want to have your midtones, but also really want to know where to have to put this really dark shadows and with watercolors you go from light to dark so you really have to think about don't make it too dark or everything will be just really dark and muddy and such and here you have to think okay here I want the light tones here I want the bits like darker ones and here I really want the shadow to be seen and I think this is a great way and I think that is why many people say before you start like coloring do a lot of stuff in black and white because if you do it in grayscale good like your shadows, likes and midtones then you can also transfer it better to color and that is pretty pretty accurate to be honest like in the last few times I'm really changing from colors to black and white and back and I can really see that it helps a lot. And yeah, what did I also use in this? As you can see I'm using a water brush. I really love this brush so much. And also I will be using a colored pencil for it to give a little bit more of shading but not too much and also it's a blue pencil so it will stay in the same blue color. The only thing that I did in a different color was the background. It's not something huge, I just wanted her to pop out more from the white page so I took the yellow and made a square behind her with a really strong yellow so that they had this contrast and she really just has this like like how should I say it she pops out of the page because the yellow is a nice complementary color to blue and yeah I, I like this I'm really interested do you guys like this too if yes please let me know in the comments give a like and a sub I can't talk anymore <laughs> and a subscription too if you want 
and yeah I also have a coffee page so if you're here since a while or new and really like what I do I have this coffee page where you can donate a little bit of money in the price of a coffee but of course you don't have to but if you want thank you so much and yeah of course nobody needs to so I don't want you to get this feeling that I'm like oh, like I only do drawing so that you can pay me a bit of course I want to be like a paid uh, artist but I don't want anyone to feel like they have to so yeah that's pretty much the end of the video I hope you liked it and if you do do uh -huh, yeah this happens when you think about two words in one so if you did this challenge to or want to then please tag me on Instagram on the photos because I really want to see what mermaid or what uh, monochrome challenge you did with color and yeah so stop it with the blabbling Gina and better yet to stop before I babbling on and on <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I will see you then in the next video Bye-bye!